ahiriga ga seamlessness anudaba fearlessness is for the another is tough all together there are 16 mental factors you should try to design these 60s what is the object object must be if you have doubt about the product product is the object if you have doubt about the dhamma dhamma is your object what is dhamma the teachings of Buddha is also called dhamma four part knowledge and four fruition knowledge are also called dhamma nibbana unconditioned element this is also called dhamma so all together ten types of dhamma about the, these ten types of dhamma if you have any doubt then this is called vichikecha these are the objects how they can be doubt about the dhamma now it is many problems hmm? many problems means now it is many people cannot attain chana deeply it is impossible this is also doubt about the teaching of Buddha. You may understand in this Mahasri Vanasuddha also Buddha teach Anubhanachana. And then Padigula Manasigara Fajjana. You must practice. Then, then channel, uh, nine channel ground contemplation. There is also Asuva Chana. These channels are Buddha taught in this Mahasri Vanasuddha also. In many sutras, Buddha usually taught Eidemes, Tengasinas, Eidemes, etc. So, many times Buddha taught. Then, please listen. Bhikkhu, Samadim Bhikkhu, Bhavita, Samahito Bhikkhu, Bhikkhu, Yatha Buddha, Vajanadi. Bhikkhu, Kaladi Bhik, concentration. A Bhikkhu who is concentrated <coughs> understands the Dhammas as they really are. But does he understand the Dhammas as they really are? He understands this is the noble truth of suffering. This is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. <coughs> this is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. This is the noble truth of the body leading to the cessation of suffering as they really are. This is explained in Sikha Sanyoga. So, to understand as they really are, the Ponova truths as they really are, Buddha asked many times Bhikkhus to practice concentration. Because a Bhikkhu who is concentrated understands the Dhammas as they really are. Obini Buddha is plain. But now it is many, many leaders, they think it is impossible to attain jhana. So they have a lot of doubt about jhana practice. Is it true? Yes, this is one. Eh? Then, if you have any doubt about jhana practice, then you should kissan punga. You should design the jhana object. You should pay attention. This is impossible. You have doubt. Eh? Then, this Wichike jhana will arise together with associated mental formations according to cognitive process. This is one. Another is now he has very few meditators the ending jhana. It is true. But they have no doubt, maybe. But few meditators they also practice four elements of meditation. Now it is this is it is impossible to see clubs. Small body gas. They have no doubt. This is the they have doubt about the DJ of Dhamma. The the DJ of Buddha Dhamma. <coughs> they have the a lot of about the Dhamma. Then again they says it is also impossible to analyze these clubs and then to discern ultimate material is in each club. It is impossible. This can be understood by Buddha only. They say like that. So they have a lot of doubt. In the same way. They also say, oh, it is impossible to design ultimate modality and materiality. Within one finger snap, millions of mind moments arising in passing How they can be designed this mind moment? 
<laughs> this is dub. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> yes, this is also dub. Within one moment, there are many mental formations. How they can discern? How they can? How it is possible to discern these mental formations? Within one finger snap, they are rising and passing away so very, very quickly. It is impossible. Only Buddha can be understood. <coughs> this is their explanation, their opinion. So they have a lot of about discerning ultimate mentality also. In the same way, first is finished. Nothing. Future is not yet coming. Yes, nothing. Only just present you must discern. Oh. <laughs> so if they do in this way, they cannot understand to be their origination. Because of the past causes, present effects arise. Because of the present causes, future effects will arise. They will not understand this dependent origination. So, if they accept in this way, then they will not understand dependent origination. They have a lot of the activity of the law of karma and dependent origination. So this is also tough. Now it is many people, many, many people. Although they are practicing Buddha, uh, practicing Samatha Vipassana or Vipassana, they have a lot of Buddha's teaching. How they can be a day, or how they can realize all the world truths as they really are. Because they have a lot of, they do, they do not practice to understand this Thomas. Because they accept it is impossible. So if they accept it is impossible, they will not try to understand the nowhere truth of suffering, the nowhere truth of the origin of suffering. They will not try. So without understanding the nowhere truth of suffering and the nowhere truth of the origin of suffering, if they practice Vibhasana, what is their object of their Vibhasana? Because the object of Vipassana is nowhere to of suffering by aggregates. The origin of <coughs> nowhere to of suffering depends on origination. These two nowhere truths are the object of Vipassana. If they do not discern these two nowhere truths, what is the object of their Vipassana? So very difficult. So they have no doubt. If they have doubt, this is one type of hindrance. Not to attain jhana, not to attain, not to realize nirvana, not, not to attain for inclusion knowledge. So, because of this, this doubt is also one type of great hindrance. <laughs> huh? It prohibits not to attain jhana, not to attain inside knowledge, not to attain for inclusion knowledge. So, because of this reason, <coughs> If there is talk in you, you should try to understand. There is talk in you. If you do not understand, there is talk in you, then you will not try to remove this talk. Is it true? Yes. If you understand only other than you will try to remove this talk. If you do not understand, how you can remove? Because you do not understand about talk. So very, very, very important this one. Hmm? Another is, <coughs> there is no doubt in you, you should try to understand there is no doubt in me. How you should try? When you are designing ultimate mentality and materiality, except doubt. Other, when you are designing other mentality and materiality, except doubt, at the dying, doubt is not present in your mind moment. Because you are designing ultimate mentality and materiality. And then they do talk. But if you listen also talk, the other day also again no talk will arise. Why this talk arise? Because of unwise attention. No unwise attention means no it is it is impossible to attain China. This is also one type of unwise attention. No it is it is impossible to realize ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality. This is also unwise attention. Now it is, it is also impossible to, break, uh, to 
to understand past and future. Because what is finished, perhaps future is not yet coming. It is impossible. So this is also one type of unwise attention only. Based on this unwise attention, top is coming. So you must try to remove this top. How you should remove to this top? If there is doubt in you, you should try to understand there is doubt in me. If there is no doubt, then you should try to understand there is no doubt in me. In this way, if you understand other than that only, you can remove or you can destroy this doubt. The understanding knowledge. Hmm? The another is, he also understands how there comes the rising of no and the rising of unreasoning doubt. How this doubt comes about, you should try to understand cause. This is a wise intention. Hmm? Then another is here going to experience another reason. Hmm? We learn it in the Buddha's teachings. If you learn thoroughly the Buddha's teachings with respectful mind, then surely this doubt also may disappear. This is one cause. And that because in Buddha's teaching, how you should try to remove these different types of hindrances, clearly explain in detail. So if you learn the Buddha's teaching systematically, hmm, then when you begin learn it by group, then this stuff may be temporarily disappear. Then you can remove this stuff. Hmm. Then questioning about the Buddha the Dhamma and the Sangha. What is the Buddha? What is the Dhamma? What is the Sangha? You should try to understand. Eh? You should ask many questions to the elders. It is also important. Hmm? Then number three, understanding thoroughly the nature of the discipline. Monastic code. Hmm? You should try to understand the Vinaya rules. This is especially referring to about the purification of Paju. Whether I should do or not, or this is I should do, or this is also I should not do, he had a lot of doubt. He cannot decide. As a day, he must, pra he must study monastic code, Vinaya rules. As a day, also about this doubt will disappear. Hmm? Then, number four is. We decided about the truth of the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. Buddha is real Buddha. The Dhamma is real Dhamma. Sangha is the real Sangha. To decide this, you should try. You must practice. You must decide argument, materiality, argument, mentality, and their causes. Then you must contemplate them as a nature to another. Abdubat and Prussian knowledge states. When you realize what and Prussian knowledge, and then, then you will understand, oh, Nibbana is real. Here is Nibbana. Hmm? Nibbana is still exist. It is true. But in Prussian knowledge, which realize Nibbana also true. The Buddha, which realize Nibbana also still real. The Sangha, which realize Nibbana also there is real Sangha. So he had no doubt. So up to that stage, you must practice. It is better. And then, then doubt completely will disappear. Hmm? Then another is, simply that you have full companionship with good persons. Hmm? You should associate with good persons. They will help you to remove this doubt in different ways, especially the elders who are learned in eh? Buddha's teaching, who, had, who practice practically Buddha's teaching. So they have learning knowledge as well as direct knowledge. You should associate with such elders. Huh? This is also important. They will help you to remove these doubts. Then number six, stimulating talk that helps to dispel talk, to remove talk. Huh? You should try to talk stimulating talk only, to dispel the talk. You should not try to tell the talking which will be increased the talk. Oh, it is impossible. I do not believe 
it is impossible. I do not believe. <laughs> if you say, if you talk in this way, then you, you cannot meditate thoroughly. So because of this reason, if you have any doubt, then you should associate with some meditators who are successful. Hmm? How you should, oh, how, how you practice in this way? How you should practice with, eh? how we, we should practice in this way? Eh? In this way, in such a way. How do you break this? In this <coughs> way, you should talk. No much problem. But there are some meditators who are not yet successful. And if you discuss with them, they will say it is impossible. <laughs> 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 so, such talk is not good. Huh? Stimulating talk is better. Hmm? So, these are six. But these are the causes. So, because of this reason, Buddha says, he also understood how there comes to be the arising of a reason talk. He should understand the cause. Hmm? Then another sentence. He, uh, he also understands how there comes to be the abandoning of reason talk. He had a lot of but he already abandoned this. How he abandoned, he should try to understand. How he should abandon this talk? He must try jhana practice. Based on concentration, he must discern argument, mentality, argument, mentality, and their causes. At the dying, he will understand thoroughly dependent origination, especially the activity of the law of karma. At the dying, partially doubt this fear, because Buddha's at the dying, he gave accept Buddha's teaching is real true. Because he can discern argument materially, he can discern argument mentality, he can discern their causes clearly by his direct knowledge. At the day he a lot of doubts will be disappear. Mm. <coughs> then when he a day at the end of his we was not inside. When his insight becomes mature, and then know his insight, but improving knowledge will rise, stage by stage. That but improving knowledge will destroy completely without remaining this top, especially stream entry path knowledge, so the body mega will destroy this top completely without remaining. But if you practice up to the picture of Rigayana, Descending cause and condition. Hmm? In other words, the descending the noble truth of the origin of suffering. Up to that stage, if you practice, if you get understand by your direct knowledge, and then also that inside knowledge also can remove temporarily this doubt. But such an entry part can remove this doubt completely without a matter. So you should also understand. How there comes to be the abandoning of the reason talk. This you should try to understand up to that stage. And then he also understand how there comes to be the non future rising of abandoned talk. When you reach Sri and Sri Path, it will never will come it will never visit to your mind again. So you should also understand. Future not arising of abundance doubt. So these are five sentences of that doubt. So if you see <coughs> up to this <coughs> Mahasri Brana Sutta's teaching system, then you will understand in this Sutta hmm, how Buddha teach Sumatra Vipassana. Number one Buddha taught Anabana Abdul Pokchana. Then Buddha in this by a new person of Sri Brahana session, Buddha emphasized to this argument materially based on jhana. Then, second chapter is within a new person, contemplation of feeling as feeling. In that chapter, Buddha emphasized how to this feeling. That chapter is changed a new person, contemplation of mind as mind. In this chapter, Buddha taught, Buddha emphasizes especially mind to, to discern mind. 
to contemplate mind. And then, now this Dhamma Nubhasana. Contemplating Dhamma objects as Dhamma objects. In this chapter, Buddha emphasizes you now five hindrances. Now you already, <coughs> already heard eh, the five hindrances, how you should try to practice, how you should practice. So in this chapter, the remaining 51 medal practice Buddha emphasizes. So all together, I did my meditation. Feeling in my 51 medal practice are 52 medal practice are finished. Then Chaitanya Nubhasana, this is consciousness. So all together, if we combine this, Adhimai Madhiradi, Adhimai Madhiradi, all finish. <coughs> but again, Buddha wants to express this Adhimai Madhiradi and Adhimai Madhiradi, if they divide five group, then this way of teaching also Buddha wants to teach. So because of this reason, Buddha continue to teach five aggregate methods. Why Buddha taught this five aggregate method? Commentary and sub commentaries explain about this way of practice. So many, well, some meditators are discerning argument materially. They can clearly understand argument materially. But when they are discerning argument materially, their understanding is slow. They cannot understand clearly. For those, <coughs> Buddha explain, Buddha divide ultimate mentality four groups, four aggregates. Hmm? Feeling aggregate, perception aggregate, volition information aggregate, consciousness aggregate. Four groups Buddha explain. But although this is mental, four mental aggregates, but Ultimate material is one aggregate altogether, five aggregate. But that's five aggregate. When you are listening, five aggregate, you may understand it may be easy. But when you are practicing, really, it is not easy. It is not easy, means <coughs> I want to explain. Hmm? When you are listening, ultimate material and ultimate mentality, you must first listen according to cognitive process. For example, I do cognitive process. In I do cognitive process, there are, in each my moment, there are mentality and materiality always rising and passing away. In my do advantage, in five do advantage consciousness, my moment, there are also mentality and materiality. That I do advise consciousness arise depending on heart place. If you design four elements in your heart, systematically, you can see only a group of small particles, calabas. If you analyze these calabas, there are six types of calabas only. Heart, take it, calabas, but they do not understand what is take it. <laughs> so things, if we calculate in this calabas, up to heart pace, they are all together ten types of materiality. Art element, water element, fire element, wet element, gala, odor, flavor, nutritive, asset, life faculty, and then heart pace, all together ten. In the same way, in heart, if you touch, you can feel touching sensation. So because of this, there is also body decade club. Up to body transfer element, there are 10 rubas. Body transfer element is 10 rubas. So it is called 10 kalaba. Body decay kalaba. Body decay kalaba. Another is sex decay kalaba. In your heart, there is also sex decay kalaba because sex materiality spread throughout the body. Everywhere they are present. Because of this reason, when you see some person, one person, we can quickly understand that this is man, this is woman. But now it is maybe a little bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we cannot differentiate this is a man or woman. <laughs> uh, because all are same. Hmm? Clothes are all the same. Oh. <laughs> Only sometimes maybe another hair, like 
In the same way, every mind which has dependent on heart, which can produce mind, produce materiality. So they are also mind produce otak kalamba. Otak is translated eight hmm? abdu eight. An element, wada element, fire element, wet element, color, odor, flavor, beauty, give essence. Huh? All together eight. So in the same way, in each kalamba there is fire element. That fire element also can produce new generation. This is called temperature produced material. There is, there is also eight in each club. In each club, there is nutritive assets. Where <coughs> from a developed food, with the help of digestive fire, nutritive assets can produce new generations huh? out of the whole body. These are called Nutritive as produce materially. In this nutritive essence, produce materially, there is nutritive essence. When that nutritive essence is um, digested by your support, in each club there is also nutritive essence. They can also produce new generation. So here, in, in the heart, nutritive as produce materially also present. All together, six types of clubs. In each type, Quantity is many. Hmm? Only type is only six. All together, 54 types. Depending on this heart base, when we are designing heart base, we must try to break down the competence, three types of competence of materiality. Other than only, we will understand ultimate materiality. So, this ultimate materiality is the aggregate of, aggregate of materiality. Then, in my do advantage, in my moment, there are 11 mental factors. We already calculated that many times. Eh? Among these 11, when our feeling is <coughs> the glinging grey dog, grey dog feeling, senior perception is the glinging grey dog perception. The remaining nine, the, the remaining. The remaining eight mental factors are the formation aggregate, the clinging aggregate of formation. The consciousness is the clinging aggregate of consciousness. So all together, in my do advertising my moment, heart aggregates. In the same way, I consciousness my moment also heart aggregate. In every my moment, heart aggregate, heart aggregate, heart aggregate. You should try to discern this heart aggregates in every my moment. So, if you have already this ultimate materiality and mentality, at that time only you will understand this five figures in every my moment. Because of this reason, after this ultimate mentality materiality, at that time only Buddha taught five figures in Baba. So, teaching system you should try to understand. No? Then, you must contemplate them as nature to find that. But, in this case, Buddha taught Pai Grigay Manda clearly. Clearly means teaching, I want to, uh, to tell you teaching system only. But before this Pai before uh, I'm trying this conduct Papa, hmm? Pai Grigay Manda, I want to conclude the hindrances session. Hmm? So, in hindrances session, Five hundred session, hold at home, continue his tomato. He did it at Dama Damesu, the man who was in we heredity, made our Damesu, the man who was in we heredity. It's at the made our Damesu, the man who was in we heredity. He advised contemplating Dama objects as Dama object in Danelli. Or he advised contemplating Dama objects as Dama objects in Danelli. Or he a wise contemplate the mark of this and the mark of this both internally and externally. What is the meaning? Based on five hindrances, you must test the argument, mentality, mentality, internally and externally. 
Then after that, both that thought. Samudhi and Dhammanu Vasiva, Dhammesu Vihareddi, Vaya Dhammanu Vasiva, Dhammesu Vihareddi. Samudhi and Vaya Dhammanu Vasiva, Dhammesu Vihareddi. He thus contemplated in Dhamma Avajas. The arising phenomena of Dhamma Avajas. He avoids contemplating the Dhamma objects, the vanishing, the real nature of vanishing. He avoids contemplating the Dhamma objects, the arising and the nature of arising and vanishing phenomena. So in this way, Buddha explained, this is the very origination. Hmm? And then you must contemplate this Ultimate majority, media, and they are causes as nature to go in the Abdu, Uriya, Bia, and that stage. Arising and falling, inside knowledge of understanding of rising and falling. Abdu, that inside knowledge stage, you must practice. Then both that continue. Ati, Dhamma, Diva, Panasa, Sati, Bhikkhu, Bhati, Dahodi, Yawa, Diva, Nyana, Madaya, Vresti, Madaya. When his inside knowledge of rising and falling, or rising and passing away, becomes strong. Other than he should emphasize only dissolution, not rising. If he emphasizes dissolution, other than he will understand that only there is the mass only. What the mass? Ultimate mentality, ultimate mentality, and their causes of this. Except this ultimate mentality, material and their causes, there is nothing. This insight knowledge will become strong and powerful. That strong powerful inside knowledge will associate it with strong powerful mindfulness. That mindfulness and clear comprehension can be the strong powerful supporting cause for increasing higher and higher mindfulness and inside knowledge. When his inside knowledge becomes mature, at the end of his inside knowledge, part and fruition knowledge will arise, realizing nirvana as object. When four part and progeny knowledge stage by stage rise, then five hindrances will, will be destroyed completely without remainder. So, after that stage, for that thought, Anisi, Dodja, Uyharadi, Naja, Keji, Love, Uvadiyadi, he advised in the bed, <coughs> not clinging any then in the world. He will go back with Bekhu, Tamesu, Tamandu, Vasi, Uyharadi, in Chasu Nivarnesu. Because in this way, because this is how a vehicle applies contemplating the mark objects as the mark. In terms of five hindrances, in this way, Buddha concludes his teaching. This is in your session. <coughs> Again, Buddha continued, five aggregate mother. How he continued? Una cha bram beku beku damesu damanu basi we heredi in chasu uba dana kandesu. Begus again a beku a vice contemplate de dama objects as dama objects in terms of five aggregates. Begin cha beku beku damesu damanu basi we heredi in chasu uba dana kandesu. How a beku a vice contemplate de dama objects as dama objects in terms of five clinging aggregates. <coughs> then Buddha explained the way of brightness. This is very important, very systematic. Iti Rupa, Iti Rupasa Samuryo, Iti Rupasa Atangamo. Iti Virana, Iti Viranaya Samuryo, Iti Viranaya Atangamo. Iti Sanya, Iti Sanyaya Samuryo, Iti Sanyaya Atangamo. Iti Sankara, it is Sankara na Samudya, it is Sankara na Atyankamo. Iti Vinyana, Iti Vinyana sa Samudya, Iti Vinyana sa Atyankamo. Pai Giliget. One by one Buddha explained. What is the meaning? Such is materiality. Such is the causal arising of materiality and momentary arising of materiality. Such is the causal sensation of materiality and momentary sensation of materiality. Three stages. Such is materiality. 
You must try to understand such is materiality. This is materiality. You should try to understand. But you should not stop about this. <coughs> then you must try. Such is the causal rising of materiality and momentary rising of materiality. You should try to understand. What is the meaning? Because of the rising of causes, materiality aggregate rise. This also you should try to understand. This is causal rising of materiality. What are the causes? Vijja, ignorance, tana, craving, kuma dana, clinging, sankara, pollution and formations, karma, karmic forces, five causes. Because of the rising of five causes, the clinging aggregate of materiality rise. You should, you should also understand, try to understand this causal reaction. Past causes produce present material aggregate. Present causes will, will produce future material aggregate. So you should try to understand this cause and effect. The momentary rising. The, as soon as they rise, they pass away. So you should emphasize rising states. Clearly. Moment by moment, moment by moment, they are rising, 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 rising. In this way, you should try to understand rising stage. This is second stage. The third stage is causal cessation. Causal cessation and momentary cessation. What is causal cessation? Because of the complete cessation of causes, material intrigue will cease completely without remainder. The causal cessation also you should try. When it will be cease? Completely without a matter. If one meditator and take hardship at the time, five causes will cease completely without a matter. Because of the complete cessation of five uh, causes, then five aggregates, uh, including material aggregate, will cease completely without a matter after pre-nivana. Pre-nivana stage is that stage. So that complete cessation also you must try to understand. The, the momentary cessation also you must try. Every moment by moment, as soon as they rise, they pass away. So momentary rising, momentary cessation. Both you must try to see rising and passing away. Momentary rising and passing away. In other words, causal rising and causal passing away. Momentary rising and momentary passing away. What you must try to understand. And then Buddha taught another. Such is feeling. Such is the causal rising of feeling. And momentary rising of feeling. Such is the causal cessation and momentary cessation of feeling. In the same way, such is senya perception. Such is the cause arising of perception and momentary rising of perception. Such is causal cessation of perception and momentary cessation of perception. Okay? Such is from such are formations. Such are their causal rising and causal rising and momentary rising. Such are their causal Causal cessation and momentary cessation. Again, such is consciousness. Such is rising. Uh, it is rising and momentary rising. It it is causal rising and momentary rising. Such is it is causal cessation and momentary cessation. In this way, four mental aggregates also put a touch in the same way. In this case also, you first you must try to understand feeling, perception, volition and formations, feeling, perception, formations, and consciousness. Four mental aggregates. You should try to understand these four mental aggregates. Okay? You should also try, because of the idea of causes, four mental aggregates arise. Because of the complete cessation of causes for mental aggregate sits completely without a minder. 
then as long as they rise they pass away so we should also try to understand momentary rising and passing away also so in this way both that thought fact aggregate matter so what is the meaning such is material what is the meaning there are 20 28 types of materiality you should try to understand this 28 types of materiality they are intrinsic nature of characteristic function manifestation and proximate cause for example a element if you break the, if you do some four elements systematically in your body when your concentration develops further you will see clubbers for example i take a clubber hmm? in that clubber if you analyze there are ten types of materiality from an element to i transfer element altogether ten types of materiality among these ten art element for example what is the characteristic of an art element it's really in this case hardness is predominant pattern, predominant characteristic of art element. What is it is function? What is it is hada? They are ten rubas. All the remaining ten rubas stand on that art element. So this is it this function is he is doing it is doing standing fixed for concomitant materialities. This is his function. What is it is manifestation? Sampati chana pichu patana. If it is standing place, for example, this eyeglass stands on the palm, my palm, hmm? the, my hand. The, this is standing place. If it is standing place, it is carrying the concomitant material patterns. You can say carry. This is manifestation. When a meditator trying to discern this art element, he will see, oh, this art element is carrying the concomitant material patterns, not concomitant material is within the same club. You will see, this is manifestation. But what is proximate cause? Proximate cause is the Concomitate the remaining three elements within the same club, not different club. What are three elements? Without water element, fire element, and wind element, earth element alone cannot arise. They are always concomitant. So the other three elements, water element, fire element, and wind element, these are proximate cause. They are vice versa, they depend on each other. So without another three element, one element alone cannot arise. They are always concomitant. This is proximate cause. In this way, you must try to discern this 28 types of ultimate materiality by way of characteristic function, manifestation, and proximate cause. If you does not see color bus, if you cannot analyze color bus, how you can discern this? Characteristic, function, manifestation, and proximate cause. How you can do that? Please tell. Oh. Is it possible? No. So, first you should try to, de to see Calabas. To see Calabas, how you should practice? Huh? We again, again already said. Huh? You must begin for animal meditation systematically. When you are concentrated, develop further. One day you will see these clubbers. The other day we trying to analyze these clubbers. At least you will see four elements in each clubber. Then please continue to design the remaining derivative materials such as color, smell, taste, nutritive essence, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, life fragility, uh, ion transfer element, etc. I guess I selectively. In the same way, Buddha also taught, such is feeling. What is such is feeling? Such is perception, such is formation, such is consciousness. 
you should also find this mental aggregates also. When you should discern this mental aggregates by way of characteristic function manifestation. So, feeling one mental factor, perception one mental factor, formations there are 50 mental factors, consciousness one, one type. But <coughs> in different mind moments, they do different functions. For example, my do at body mind moment, this is reviewing heat. My do at body consciousness do, and just only reviewing function. And I consciousness mind moment. I in consciousness to see the color. So they have this different function. Hmm? So in each of my moment they have different functions. You should try to see this different function. Not only function but also manifestation and proximity cause also. So in each of my moment it, there are many mental factors. Every mental factor you must try to see by way of characteristic function, manifestation, and proximal cause. Other than only you will understand such is feeling, such is perception, such is formation, formation, such is consciousness. Other than only you will understand. Then you should try to continue to bring the origination. Because of the rising of causes, effects will arise, five aggregates arise. Because of the complete cessation of causes, five aggregates is completely without matter. You should try to understand this causal rising in passing way. Then <coughs> you should try momentary rising in passing way. All mentality materialities are as soon as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. You should also try to see this momentary rising in passing way. So, so many leaders, what they are, Discerning this ultimate mentality, materiality. They can clearly understand ultimate materiality. But when they are discerning ultimate mentality or when they are contemplating ultimate mentality as nature to another, they do not clearly see, they do not clearly understand. For those both are also divide five aggregate but both are also taught five aggregate matter. This is another reason, one reason. Another reason is there are some meditators, they are controlling faculties and not so sharp. They are controlling faculties uh, with it. Not so dark, not so sharp in the middle way. For those, we call this Michima hmm? meditators, hmm? the middle ones. For those also both that taught five Greek method, this is also one reason. Another reason is <coughs> some meditators, they also, in other way, they have sharp wisdom faculty. For those also sometimes both that taught this five Greek method, like Pichak Vagiya Vaikut, five group Vaikuts. When Buddha is expounding Dhamma Chaka Bodhana Sutta, sudden emotion of the wheel of the Dhamma. In that Sutta, Buddha taught four noble truth methods. I will explain later this four noble truth methods again. Hmm? But when they, by listening this Dhamma Chaka Bodhana Sutta, when I remember going in along, we gain Sodhamana. The other four vehicles, they must practically practice according to this four noble truth methods. When they practice, slowly they begin, day by day, they begin Sotapana. When they begin, already begin Sotapana, other than Buddha, taught the Anatta Lakhna Sutta. The Anatta Lakhna Sutta, Buddha teach them to contemplate five aggregate method. Tasma, Diha, Bhikwe, Nangeshi Ruba, Dida Nagata, Vishobana, Ijadama, Bhidama, Oladi Gama, Sukhu Baba, Hinawa, Badidama, Yandure Sandi, Gewa, Saba Ruba, Nidama, Matniso, Masumi, Namiso, Adadi, Iva Midaya, Tabuda, Sama Binaya, Tadaba, and this way for that talk. Why they can follow this teaching? Because what they are writing saying, for Nova Truth Mada. Number one, the Nova Truth of Safari is what? Five aggregates. 
So because of this, 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 this that the next lesson, Buddha is playing pack game with that. Okay. What is the meaning? Whether past or present or future, internal, external, cross or subtle, inferior or superior, power or near, all middle, all materialities, you must contemplate them as nature to Kananda. This is not mine, this is not I, this is not myself. You must contemplate them as nature to Kananda. In the same way, feeling, perception, formations, and consciousness aggregates also go that door in the same way. Because of this reason, when they are contemplating according to Buddha's teaching, at the end of this course, they begin all arhas. So, this is the Greek method. In that method, Buddha openly teach whether past or present or future. Past Pai Greek, present Pai Greek, future Pai Greek. You must contemplate. But now it is many meditators, they say, past is finished, not necessary. Present and future is not yet coming, not necessary. You must emphasize only present. But in that so that Buddha openly explain whether past or present or future. Internal, external, cross or subtle, inferior or superior, power near. All five ingredients you must contemplate as a nature to God. You get, you should have to study this so that. Hmm? So they are very helpful. You should have enough confidence. Oh, this is Buddha's teaching. According to this teaching, they practice Samatha Vipassana. They begin Rahas. You have a lot of confidence. Is it true? Yes, the Buddha's teaching is very important. You should try, if you want to practice Vipassana, you should try to understand these teachings. This is very important. Hmm? Then Buddha continued his tomato. Idi Ijadawa Kaye. It's a now a domain to the man who was you with ready, paid our domain to the man who was you with ready. It's a domain to our domain to the man who was you with ready. Five degrees internally and externally, you must try. Same in that I'm gonna say that. Then Buddha thought, Smoothia, the man who was you are the man who was ready, we are the man who was you are the man who was ready. Smoothia, we are the man who was you are the man who was ready. Because of the rising causes, five degrees. Right. Because of the only sensation of causes, five gregates cease. Cause also nature, five gregates also nature. You must try to contemplate them. Then, Adi Jamadi Mabanasa, that Sadi Bichu Badi Da Hodi Yawadi Wa Nyana Madaya Bresti Madaya. You should emphasize only dissolution. And then, then you will understand there are only, there, is, there are only five gregates. Except five gregates, there is nothing. They are always passing away. You will understand. And then, then you will see, you will not see Galapas also. You will see only animate materiality, animate mentality. Another what? And then, then only they will reach ultimate truth. This ultimate truth is impermanent ultimate truth, not permanent ultimate truth. <laughs> there are two ultimate truths, permanent and impermanent. Nibbana is permanent ultimate truth. Five aggregates are, or ultimate mentality and materiality are, embalming ultimate truth only. You should try to see this embalming ultimate truth. You must contemplate the as an example of another. And slowly, when you are inside, become mature. At the end of inside knowledge, but inclusion knowledge will realize Nibbana. That part in project knowledge will destroy development stage by stage. At that day, Ali C. Dodja, we had a deep Naja Kiji Logi Ubadiadi. He advised independent, not clinging to anything in Pike Gigate War. There's no clinging for him. All craving already destroyed. This is called contrit, is it true? Contrit to new existence. Cut already. So all things. So in our convent, we have to tell us to tell us about the way we are ready. We shall so over the next hundred, over the next hundred. So if you want to practice five aggregate method, you must practice in this way only. He concludes. If you practice in another way, this is not Buddha's teaching. 
If you want to bring this, according to Buddha's teaching, you must try follow his teaching systematically. Okay? okay. Any question? <laughs> Said uh, when when they um, you stop clinging and path moment. So you you go through one of the three gates, which yes, is yes, anicca, yes. dukkha, or anatta. Yes, yes. So and subsequent path moments. Do you always go through the same? You you just see that one aspect of nibbana. Or can you see different aspects each time? Maybe somebody will just say, somebody will just be different. The really different ways they are the sixty and three part. After that, they cannot easily agree once her done a path. They must try this for a long time. <laughs> because their inside knowledge is not yet mature. To agree, Second highest stage. So because of this reason, we must contemplate again and again. When they are contemplating in this way, sometimes they may contemplate nature, sometimes maybe dukkha, sometimes maybe another. So first part knowledge, second and three part knowledge may arise while he is contemplating nature. But when he again no, uh, what's the kind of knowledge? At the day, when he is contemplating formations as another, at the day also he may realize Nibbana. Or he may add in, again, but knowledge. Eh? What's the kind of knowledge? So there may be different. For some meditators, they are saying. Saying is usually when they are contemplating formations as nature to the another. When they are good ability, for example, hmm? Pak Jana Dhammas as Nicha Dukkha Ananda, and then also they may realize Nibbana. They are three and three, but is associated with Pak Jana. But when they are good ability, Sagi Jana Dhammas, again, okay. and then also they may realize Nibbana again, okay. or they may, they may add in Sagi Pak Knowledge, once Radana Pak Knowledge. So his Second part knowledge will associate that second Janatama. So in this way, some may be seen, some may be also different. Sayadaw, all over the world to nowadays, teachers say that uh, the jhanas are not necessary. But over and over again in many sutras, the Buddha explains right concentration or sama samadhi as the jhanas themselves, at least the, the first four jhanas. Is there another place or a different place, a sutta where the Buddha defines samasamadhi as something else other than the jhanas? Yes, yes. Maybe the edge one sutta. You may try to see, I remember one sutta. This is Susima sutta. And Nidana Vaga Sanyoda. And that so the Susima is one wandering setting, hmm? Paripachaka. But one day he wants to steal the map in this dispensation. Why? And they are dispensing slowly. Gains. Gains are slowly decreased. Because of this reason, at the day, Buddha's dispensation decreased gains, many gains, many requisites. So they were, how they do, how they teach the disciples? Many devotees would, will increase, hmm? how they try, and how they teach the Dhamma. So he want to know the teaching system. So he want to stay the Dhamma, he enter into this order. Hmm? He ordained as a banquet under the uh, guidance of Venerable Ananda. They, within few days, he will be a Raha Buddha also saw. Because of this reason, Buddha permit him 
to only a simple code in this case position. Usually, many wandering subjects who practice outside the dispensation, they must take pre wasa at least four months. That, also, that pre wasa is called taking a pre wasa Maybe as a Nagariga, they must stay in this dispensation at least four months. When Bhikkhus satisfy his behavior, other than only they will all day, day. But if they do not yet satisfy, then they must stay again another four or three months, etc. So in this case, Buddha, Venerable Ananda, asked Buddha the situation. Buddha trying to look at his inner quality by his angry eh, propriety nyana. Eh, anusia, asia, anusia nyana. He saw his controlling faculties will be ripened very soon. Within few days he will become Raha Buddha Anasa. So because of this reason Buddha directly permit to ordain as a Bhikkhu. After ordain ordination a group of vehicles are presenting to the Buddha to pay respect and to inform their achievement. They begin rahas. So usually in the end of Buddha, many vehicles who they attain rahas, they pay to pay respect to the Buddha and to inform their achievement. They visit to the Buddha. After that also he heard, oh, many vehicles are informing to the Buddha their achievement. They begin rahas. He heard. So because of this reason, he approached those Bhikkhus, leader. Oh, do you add any sex power? No. Do you add any jhana? No. How do you, without adding jhana, without adding any sex power, money sex power, how do you become rahas? Oh, we are Pinya Vimoda. Pinya Vimoda is, we are free from wisdom, free from true wisdom only. Because of wisdom faculty, we escape from the defilements. In this way they explain, but he do not understand. How it, it is possible? Then he approach to the... Uh, if you do not understand, you should ask to the Buddha. Mm -hmm. Why they say in this way? Because Buddha understands his nature. We do not understand his inner nature. Buddha will explain so they will the matter to him. So he approached to the Buddha. And other than Buddha talk, they bring what that the matter is now. Same like another like that. So that. Uh, Ruba is nature or nature? Buddha asked him a question. Oh, nature, Pandi. If it is nature, this is Sukha or Dukha or Dukha, Pandi. If it is Sukha and Dukha, and then changing, we bring Nama the matter. You, it can be accepted as this is I. Nobody. <coughs> In the same way, we are not feeling perception, formations, and consciousness aggregates also Buddha ask. The Abhidhan, the Buddha taught, they believe that the mother is not saying like another like an asuka. Thus, Madhya, don't, Yangichi, Rupa, Tita, Nagata, Vishopana, Ija, Dhamma, Bhai, Dhamma, Ola, Rikama, Sukumama, Ina ma bani dama nendure sanji ke wa sabaru bani dama ma miso ma sabi na miso adadi iwa bida ya tabu da sama binya tadaba whether it is past or present or future indane or istane cross or saddle inferior or superior power near all madhya this you must contemplate them as nature to be another in this way the remaining mental aggregates also both are taught in the same way. Then, following Buddha's teaching, he contemplated this eleven types of five aggregates as nature to be another. Then he began Sotapanna. And he, he began Raha. Other than Buddha asked him, Do you understand the debate? Uh, especially Buddha emphasized debate origination. Because of the rising of ignorance, formations arise. Do you understand or not? Oh, I understand. In the same way, debate origination grew up. The whole, the whole teaching Buddha is Buddha as he answered already. Then again Buddha asked, 
because of the complete cessation of ignorance, commission cease. Do you understand? Okay, do you understand? Huh? I understand. Then because of the complete cessation of commissions, consciousness six. Do you understand? Yes, Pandey, I understand well. In this way, both the whole series Buddha asks, he understands. Then if you understand in this way, do you attain any jhana? No, Pandey. Do you attain any sac Monday sac bhava? No, Pandey. So in that so that Buddha openly says, so, so, Sokha vipassaka yaniga mata. Sokha vipassana yaniga means they do not <coughs> practice jhana. They directly practice for animus meditation. And they, they go to vipassana. So there are also many arhas who attain arhaship by way of for animus meditation. And do you think that was before because they had so many paramis and now Maybe. going to <coughs> jhana is easier? Because of parami only. If they, they have no barmi, what is their intention? If they practice jhana, it will take maybe few days or maybe few months. So they don't want to wait. They, do, they want to become raha very, very quickly. Why? Because of their barmi. Their barmi ask them to practice very quickly to attain Russia because death is coming. You should not wait up to July, up to 2006, up to 2007. <laughs> 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 that is coming, so they definitely practice. <laughs> mm. So because of this reason, they, they became rahas. But after academy of Raha, they trying to see their lifespan. Huh? At the dying day, so they are not yet taking Prini Bandha quickly. So because of at the day, sometimes some arhats, they try jhanas again at the day. Mm -hmm. Any question? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, going back to Dao, I have a question. Um, and I realize that uh, under um, truth, I have a couple of qualities that I'm very attached to. <coughs> one quality is love, and the other one is justice. And justice. What is justice? Justice. What is justice? Justice is fairness, ultimate fairness. Um, we, in, for example, in a court of law, they try to, to give justice. So we, we talk about justice, like in Western tradition, religion, God is considered just. Even though we can't fathom sometimes why it's so, the faith is there's justice. And so after your talk the other night, when you were talking about some of the qualities of an arahant <coughs> in terms of relationship, I wasn't quite sure where to put that uh, that concept of love. I didn't know if it's just an ignorant thought. Because concept of love. The concept of love, like, does it fit in to um, into Buddhist thought? Is that to be more clear? The arahant that you describe to me seemed detached and not particularly compassionate. Um, and therefore, I couldn't see where the where love fits in. And I've always thought that when one becomes enlightened, somehow that's a quality of an enlightened person is to be in tune or attuned to the suffering of others. And the second thing is kama. After the taksana vidama, uh, if I have doubt, I guess it's I'm not I'm not sure that kama is just and that there's justice in Kama. And one of the answers that, I, that came up for me when I considered that was, I think the answer is, it really doesn't matter if Kama is Kama, it doesn't matter if it's just or not, you just accept that it is what it is. Which leaves me feeling uncomfortable, therefore to believe a system where that's the answer. Um, so I just want to hear your thoughts. Maybe Arhas knew love. Huh? 
Maybe they have loving kindness, it is true. This loving kindness is not like Warren's loving kindness. Their loving kindness is very pure. Warren's loving kindness also, if they are in China, it is also pure, it is true. But when they eat, coming up from China, some defilements may arise in them. But for Arahas, no defilements, no loving kindness, no love. But they have loving kindness, they have a lot of compassion. Because of this reason, of the enemy of hardship, they also try to spread this to us for welfare of humankind, for devas. Because of this reason, now it is you can clearly see Venerable Kaspar. He is the head of First Council. They orally learn by her, they learn by her Buddha's teachings. Very wonderful, their memory. Eh? Very wonderful. They gave this Thomas generation to generation. Now, maybe more than 2,500 years over. But later generations, they cannot recite orally. Because of this reason, they write on palm leaves only. So, if they want to attain uh, Nibbana alone, they will happily enjoy their uh, Arham Pujan and they may only. But they do not like that. They also try for welfare of all beings and divas and human beings. So because of this reason, <coughs> they have a lot of loving kindness as well as compassion. Such type of loving kindness is present in them. But attachment to each other, this is not sin, this is not present in them. This is one reason. But according to the activity of the law of karma, Allah, hmm? it is not necessary to justice. <laughs> karma will do it is action. Will do it is action means when it becomes mature, it will do it is action. Action means it will produce it is result. As long as it the karma is not yet mature, it will not produce any result. When they begin mature, it will produce. There is no one who just, eh? you must do in this result, you must do in that result, in this way. But when they begin mature, the activity, according to the natural law of the activity of the karma, then karma will produce it itself only. But if you want to protect this Kama, then you must try number one to add in jana. If you add in jana, then you should maintain this jana up to that moment. If you can maintain your jana up to that moment, you are sure to be reborn eh? from our data. This is one sure kama. Hmm? But before that moment, this jana fall down, it is not sure. <laughs> like Penariva Deva Dada. Before that, moment his jhana is all pulled down. He cannot practice again to re-enter this jhana. Another is, if you understand Adhimim mentality, Adhimim mentality and their causes, then this insight knowledge also, very good insight knowledge. It is you and you will be reborn of that eh? good place. <coughs> Again, if you can contemplate this argument, mentality, materiality, and their causes as any child of that, that, that eh? when you are inside, knowledge also becomes mature. But you do not yet attain part in inclusion knowledge. But this inside knowledge also can, can be such strong, powerful, supporting God for you to be given in good place. This is another good one. Another is if you attain part in inclusion knowledge. At least if you add in the three and three part inclusion knowledge. That part no, knowledge, inclusion knowledge also very good quality, very good. But knowledge is very high high, high class wholesome karma. That wholesome karma also can protect all our wholesome karma which will produce to be able in four whole states. It completely will cut. This is also very good. This is sure. But again, if you practice vipassana, if you begin, no radana, 
stage. Then the neuro, uh, uh, once Radana stage. Then that once Radana but knowledge was destroying all wholesome karmas which have opportunity to be reborn in human world. He had only ch one chance to be reborn in only human world once only. More than twice, more than two times he will not reborn in this world. All holds on to us and all holds on to us, he already described completely with the remainder to be reborn in human world. Again, if you begin no Radana Pasa, if you add no Radana but infusion knowledge, that no Radana but knowledge will destroy completely all holds on to us, which will produce to be reborn in human world as well as in Giva world. You have only one chance to be reborn in Parma world only. If you get the newly highest wholesome tumor, this is Rahampa knowledge. Hmm? Rahampa knowledge wholesome tumor. The wholesome tumor will completely destroy all wholesome tumors and unwholesome tumors. Completely without remainder. You have no chance to be reborn <coughs> in other places and any other existence. So, there may be wholesome and unwholesome tumors. You have been accumulated in previous life as well as in this life. If you accumulate this, no? Jana holds on to ma, or Vipassana holds on to ma, or Pat holds on to ma. This holds on to ma will destroy every holds on to holds on to ma, which you had already accumulated in this life or in previous life. So, karma will be justice to decide. <laughs> it is research. There is no one who decides justice. What did you say that karma is karma justice? Karma is the justice. In other words, you can say karma is justice. Karma but there's is justice to it. Mm -hmm. And the Buddha referred to it as such? No, no. No? no, no. Buddha also never said justice. He said only the activity of the law of karma only. Mm -hmm. If you do wholesome tamas, then wholesome results will appear. If you do unwholesome tamas, unwholesome results will appear. In this way, only Buddha talks. In ultimate reality, what there is no action. No action means because of this, this rise. If this is upset, then this is also upset. Just only. This produces this for easy understanding only we say. Mm -hmm. If there is this, this will be rise. If there is no this, then this will be not rise. This is the meaning. There is no action to produce each other. But for easy understanding only, karma produce this result and this will be safe. But if there is still there is karma, then this result will arise only. If there is no this karma, then this result will not arise. They are called nihiriga. There is no effort to produce any result. <laughs> In this karmic force, mentality, materiality, they have no, no effort. Uh, I will do this such and such result. I will give such and such result. No such activity, no such attention. If there is this, then this will rise. If there is no this, then this will not rise. You should try to understand this, the activity of the law of karma. There is no justice. <laughs> I have a question about karma too. Let's say, uh, let's say you, let's say I know someone who is sick or lonely, mm. uh, and and according to the law of karma, that is their their karma. Mm. Uh, now, but it could also be their karma that I stop meditating and help them be well or less lonely. So how do you know what to do? I do not understand what I need this question. Help someone. Uh, let someone suffer. Is there comma? That's situation one. Situation two is help them. And that might be their comma too. 
that, that they receive help from someone else. So, uh, so which, if I'm faced with a choice, what should I do? Say, oh, well, let them suffer, you know, or I'm going to meditate and improve myself. Uh, you know, which, which of those two situations? Maybe I only say one story, then you will understand and think so. Huh? In the end of Buddha, there's one bhikkhu. Who is called Pudikata? His name is Pudikata. One day he is sick. Sick is in, in his body, many bones are coming up. So these bones are very big, like maybe from OCD, maybe about this side. Slowly they broke in. Hmm? Then many parts and bloods are coming out. He's very sick. One day Buddha trying to see the wall with his western eye. Hmm? Sakibawa. He saw this Pudigada and then he reflect. Oh, today he will be Gadraha. He saw. Hmm? So he visited to him. He washed his clothes. And then uh, he asked many people to help him. And then Trying another sunset, and then give you this cloth again, and then other than Buddha, this tomorrow, you begin in heart. What is the reason? In the no gospel of Buddha, he is uh, who keep many parts. How come they go? He is hunter, maybe, but the hunter is kills many parts. Yes, yes, many bats. He gets many bats, but his killing system is different. He gets bats, and then he broke in legs. He broke in uh, hands, yeah? and then still put there. Because if he kill already, then if he sell, then not finish, then it will be gain rotten. Huh? Because of this reason, he do not get completely. He cut only. Yes, not to go away. He got only uh, wing, wing, <laughs> not to fly. Mm. Mm. Only in this way he put in his house because of this also <laughs> dhamma. <laughs> <laughs> he reborn in hell. When he escaped from hell, when he began human being, one day he began he ordained as a bhikkhu. But this karma, the remaining karma, followed to him to produce this hazard. So, but. He had accumulated wholesome dhammas also in previous life. He had a lot uh, accumulated samatha and vipassana in previous life. Because of this reason, his parami became medjiva, Buddha and Asana. So Buddha taught him the dhamma relating for noble truths. At that time, when Buddha sat and maybe washed his body with warm water, washed his clothes, and then dry another sunset and then put this clothes again. Other than he began a little happiness. Other than Buddha taught the Dhamma relating for noble truths. Then he contemplate according to Buddha's teaching this Dhamma. Then he began a heart. So if there is someone who is sick, in this way if you can help, then depending on his parami, he may also another set up the Dhamma Pashani, or maybe truly. It depends on his ability. But you can teach Dhamma, it is very good. But by sending along Medha, he will recover. We cannot say exactly. It depends on his coming. How did you do a kuni nangla look at the world of your home? No, I do a kuni nangla, I do a kuni nangla. How do you do a kuni nangla? If you can help in this way, you can help. But other ways are, we do not say, is it this? <laughs> yeah, so the, the, for, for example, the choice, meditate or help. Yes, yes. Uh, meditate, you help no. yourself. Yes, yes. Help, you stop meditating, but you help someone else. Yes, yes. Um, mm-hmm. Mahu, you should teach him meditation or how to contemplate the mark, how to reflect the mark, and this way you also can teach him. Ah, that way you help. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay.
Okay. In that story, Buddha not gave Ubaka that bhikkhu because he had an aparami, because of this reason Buddha helped him. Mm -hmm. And then teach came up. Then he began, this is very good rasa. Mm -hmm. In the same way also, if you can help him, if he also realized karma, then it will be very good for him. So, at some point when you're, you can, through practice, you cut all your past karma from catching up with you. Mm -hmm. um, but if you haven't reached that point, karma can catch up and kill you. <laughs> so there's a... This depends on his own karma. So his karma become with you before final cessation pranibana, final cessation stage. If this karma become with you, then he will be suffer. Like Venerable Mahamoglana. Venerable Mahamoglana, in one of previous like he killed his father and mother because of his wife. Agitation. This was agitation. He killed his father and mother. This unwholesome, because of this unwholesome demand, he suffered a lot in hell. Many million years. But when he escaped from hell, 200 legs. Every leg, he crushed his head. He was crushed his head. In, in two pieces. He, he died every leg. Last leg also in the same way. Many robbers are coming to kill him, but he he already knew he are coming to kill him. So he in the Hindu jana eh? with his psychic power he fled away. But on the seventh day he did not enter any jana because of this whole unwholesome karma is bigger mature. It is happening. So because of this reason he cannot enter Hindu jana. He can do no no psychic power. Eh? Many robbers killed him. He crushed his bones into pieces. They think he is dying. He was dying, they think, but he did not die. So after this karma finished, other than he recovered again. And then he created himself by his sex power to become a normal body. And then go to the Buddha and pay respect to the Buddha and take permission from the Buddha to take Pranipana final cessation. So because of this reason, so unwholesome karmas or wholesome karmas, before Pranibana stage, they may produce good or bad results. But after Pranibana stage, no karma cannot produce anymore. Mm. So it's important to practice hard while you can. Yes, important. <laughs> <laughs> you should not miss this opportunity. Yes. <laughs> you should not delay up to 2007. Okay, okay. Did I, did I hear you say that he entered Jhana and flew away when someone was attempting to kill him? Please ask. Uh, psychic power. Psychic power. Uh -uh. He used his psychic powers. Yes. Yes. Did someone mention that you enter into Jhana and fly away? Did you say that? Maybe, maybe. Clearly, I will again say. When I remember Muhammad Glana, he possessed, he gained a day by Monday sex power also. But if you want to a day Monday sex power, you must pass by this thing to see us in academics in forty ways. But for them, it is not necessary. Why? They had been accumulated this parami in previous lives many times. This is one reason. Because of this reason, when they begin a hardship, these five mundane sangha psych powers are automatically finished. They also already had the mundane psych powers. For them, if they want to do any such power, other than they must try one fourth jhana, up to fourth jhana. Up to fourth jhana, if they decide to do such and such, then their such power is finished for them. 
कॉम्बिनरी में महामग्लन है ही इस इस पर स्पेशली एडिवेटर सेक्ट पावर एडिवेटर मीन्स ही कैन गो इन द स्काई वेरी क्विकली He can go above water very quickly. He can stay in this guy. No problem. But on that day, when to create this such power, when he is entering into jhana, he cannot enter into no jhana. Because fourth jhana is very important. Which fourth jhana we cannot say exactly because he is part of the sinas and eight entities. So any jhana he can choose for him. But he cannot enter at the, on that day any jhana. Because of this reason, he cannot do any sect power also. Because sect power must be based on jhana. So, uh, Sarga, to teach the Maha Satipatthana Sutta without explicitly talking about jhana is not a proper way to teach that sutta. No, no, no. My meaning is without jhana also you can practice Mahasri Jhana. No problem. Oh. Because there is four elements meditation. Yes. Oh. Four elements meditation is pure for pure vehicle yes. persons who have not yet ending jhana. Yes. But this is both said. Oh. For those who are jhana also, when they want to decide and make materiality, in everyday when they must practice for this meditation. This is also one way. Some meditators, they want directly go to Vipassana. They don't want to practice jhana. For those also, Buddha taught this four elements meditation. So without jhana also, they can practice four elements of sitting jhana. With jhana also, they can practice sitting jhana. Question regarding the five hindrances in uh, how do we apply the 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 second second way in uh, five hindrances in terms of there is no hindrance I I know a bit we know I know there is no hindrance because in meditation we just uh, we are supposed to focus on the object so yes. When you are discerning argument materially, argument mentality. If you can discern argument mentality, when you are discerning argument mentality, you must also discern wholesome dramas also. For example, Indo cognitive process. In this Indo cognitive process, in Joanna and Balchi mind moment, there can be also a wholesome dramas. Based on Unwise attention. But sometimes there may be also wholesome dramas based on wise attention. Because of this reason, why wholesome dramas are arising in person with successfully for a long time, and wholesome dramas, including hindrances, are absent. At that time, also, you should try to understand oh, and wholesome dramas are not absent in me. This is one. Another is when you are practicing jhana dramas. If you gain in the jhana, one more than one hour, two hour, three hour, etc. At that time also, because of this jhana dhamma, the diseases are disappear temporarily. Temporarily means about one hour, two hour, etc. At that time, jhana dhamma are such a very easy in passing way. At that time also, the diseases are absent. At that time also, you should try to understand, oh, the diseases are absent from me. Except the... We, we are in, in discerning the, uh, uh, the Nama and Rupa or the cognitive process, how do we apply in daily life? Daily life is not easy. You can understand only partially. But if you don't want to enter this hindrance, to visit in your, to your mind this hindrance, then you should, in daily life, you should contemplate in one object, meditation object, such as Anabana or four elements, etc. If you can, Concentrate on your meditation object, then they will not visit to you. Hmm? Maybe one day I told tortoise and eh? fox. <laughs> uh, you should put your mind in your shell. Shell is a common object. 
And then when they say, oh yeah, if you can put your mind, then hugs will not touch you. <laughs> and the other question is about the uh, madness of in both a uh, madness of uh, Vedana and in both of the madness of Dharma, all mention about the uh, dosa and the uh, rapa. So are, are there any difference among the Chitana uh, Nupasi and the Dharma Nupasi? Because both all mention about greed and hatred. Maybe Kaya Nupasana means the emphasize plus Kaya. Kaya means especially Rupa. But Ruba alone cannot arrive again. Ruba, Ruba, if you contemplate Ruba alone, you cannot realize Nibbana. Because of this reason, you must also try to understand Nama mentality. Although you emphasize Ruba, you must, like that, you must also emphasize mentality. When you are discerning mentality, there are three ways by way of feeling, or by way of consciousness, or by way of contact. If you bring this by way of feeling, this is Buddha Nupasana. If you bring this by way of consciousness, this is Chaitanya Nupasana. If you bring this by way of contact, this is Dhamma Nupasana. Three ways. You can choose any way. But when you are contemplating Buddha feeling, Buddha alone is not enough. Buddha always arrives with associated mental formations. Because of this reason, you must also contemplate the Buddha together with associated mental formation. But these mental formations arise depending on your different types of base. So because of this reason, you must also design a demand materiality. So although you emphasize Vrna, Vrna alone you must not emphasize. You must also design a demand materiality and a demand materiality. In the same way, while you are emphasizing consciousness mind, hmm? My consciousness alone cannot arise. Consciousness always arises with associated mental formations. Because of this reason, when you are discerning or when you are contemplating consciousness, you must also contemplate the associated mental formations also. But this every mind moment arises depending on their own respective base. Base is ultimate materiality. So you must also design ultimate modality as well as ultimate modality when you are practicing Chaitanya Nupasana. And the question is both in Vedana and in Chita, all mention about greed and all mention about hatred. Okay. Because in Chaitanya Nupasana, please reflect that. Saragama Chaitanya, Saragama Chaitanya, Vipajana, Vidaragama Chaitanya, Vidaragama Chaitanya, Vipajana, in this way, Buddha taught 16 types of chitta. Saraga chitta means consciousness with greed. Consciousness associated with greed. Consciousness associated with dosa anger. Consciousness associated with delusion, etc. In this way, Buddha taught. So when you are designing consciousness, the consciousness which is, which is associated with greed, the consciousness which is associated with anger, the consciousness which is associated with delusion also you must contemplate. So they are also included. In the same way, in the Manu Basana Pahendri's chapter also, they are also included. We're not also saying, when you are Designing Vrna. Vrna in every my moment. Every my moment there is also so that there may be a wholesome my moment. So that there may be wholesome my moment. In a wholesome my moment, in each my moment, so that they may associate it with greed. So that they may associate it with anger. So that they may associate it with delusion, etc. So they are also all included. Saifa, I have a question about Mahamogamana, but it is really a question about karma that I have very great difficulty understanding. And you have said that Mahamogalana had his head crushed because of his karma. But this cannot be because of his karma. This is his fala, the result of his karma. Yes. It is the robber's yes. karma to we, we, crush we his say, skull. We say, we say this is produced by karma only. Mm -hmm. But really, 
previously and told karma has no action. If there is this, this will rise. Oh, this will be wrong. But is it that the robber did not want to crush his skull, but he has to crush his skull because of Mahamogalana's heavy karma? Maybe this is the different cases. Because six years, eh? Six years, how many years? And the outside, hmm? outside Buddha's dispensation, there are also many subjects. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Their gains are decreased differently. Because of this design, there are also some devotees who believe in them. They give money to the robbers. Robbers, if they, pay, if they got money, they keep money. This is their case. But Venerable Mughalana, why he defeated like that? This is his karma. So robber's karma is robber another. His karma is another. But sometimes we say that a person has gotten killed, oh, that is his karma. But surely it has to be the karma of the killer. Did the killer have to kill the person because of the dead person's karma? Maybe they are indirectly connected. Indirectly means his karma become a At that time, he must accept this opportunity. Whether this is a good or bad, he must accept this opportunity. Because of this reason, his, because of his karma, he was killed, we can say. But there is also one person who killed. This is also his karma. He is accumulating another unwholesome karma. Why he accumulated this unwholesome karma? There may be behind there is also some reasons. For example, Vidruba. Hmm? Vidruba, he gave many sakiyas. This is his action. But why the sakiyas was killed by him? Why the sakiyas were killed by him? Because they are karma. In one previous slide, they uh, all agreed eh, to keep fishes in the river, maybe to put poison in the river. So many fishes are there. Because of this unwholesome karma, they suffered many times in hell. But when they escaped from hell, when they began sakiyas, at that time this karma became mature. Because of this reason, we were also kept there. They are uh, suffered because of their karma only. But we do but keep them, this is his karma only. This is new karma. But his karma also produced him bad result immediately. Immediately means when he go back to his country. On the way, and on the bank of Gengi River, they are sleeping. The upper Gengi, they are very heavy rain. Heavy rain. They, what does they are carrying to the up to ocean? So because of this reason, they have their own respective kamas. So it is by chance that the two kamas come together, the result of somebody's kama and the production of somebody's new kama? Or they know that this will happen, so uh, subconsciously he slept there in the river to feel the result of his kama? How we can see? <laughs> How we can see? This is the gamma we can see only. <laughs> Maybe now you are now here meditating. Because of my gamma, you are meditating. How we can see? Your gamma is your gamma. My gamma is my gamma. <laughs> 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 only. Um, I'd be grateful if you could just, um, I'm struggling with the concept of, when you, in listening to your, into your talk there, it's almost as if with karma you're de determined or it's predetermined that sometimes somebody may act in a particular way. How does that relate to the, the concept of free will, a person's right to choose? What is free will? Free will. Well, a <laughs> person may have a choice to act it either in one way or another. Is it 
Choice. 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 And, and, and try to understand that in relation to your account about karma and how it seems, if, if my understanding is right, that people are determined to, to act or there's a predetermination for a person to act in a particular way, whether they like it or not. So the robber crushing the the person's head, who was, if my understanding is right, he was, he was destined to do that. Maybe Sanka must you be. What would you be? You get away, Sanka must. The Sanka must cannot avoid. When they become with you, when they are uh, not yet become with you, you get what? You get what means if you accumulate other wholesome gamas hmm? this morning and don't be jana gamas, umbasana gama, or fat and fat gamas. Hmm? If you accumulate this wholesome gamas, they can protect this gamas. But for full death moment, you cannot protect sometimes. Sometimes means the unwholesome kamas or wholesome kamas, when they become bejua, you cannot protect. But not pigs altogether. When they begin bejua only, they will produce in this case. But when they are not yet bejua, then you can avoid from these kamas also. Not pigs. Okay. So, and, and the pigs are not. I think the question or I'll add to it, is um, not so much that something would happen to you, but that you would you would be destined, fated, to act in a certain way, that you wouldn't have the choice to decide to do something wholesome or unwholesome. If it's your past karma that is causing, you know, uh, whatever the situation happens to be, you're fated to act in a certain way according to karma, is what I think the question was. Is that right? Is that close to what you're saying? Yeah. So, the question is, can, does, does a person have the ability to choose to act one way or another? Or does karma predetermine that you're going to only act in a certain way? You can choose. You can choose, yes. You can choose good ways. So, no that dog this way only. This way is nothing but noble and poor part. This is wholesome karma. If you follow this noble and poor part, then if you uh, can practice diligently within few days or within few months or within few years, you may escape from this canvas. You can you also say that uh, some people's comma is to never be open to to hearing the Dhamma, that they cannot mount the, the enough uh, enough faith to even find any magnet to bring them to it or to to have them want to follow any given path. Maybe this also mentioned in our text. Hmm? Okay. Who had in a in a high lesson? In a in a hilation. In a hilation view. Sometimes they deny the activity of the law of karma. They do not believe as a as a means karma, that karma produce any result, they do not believe. Then sometimes they deny result. Result is automatically that may be not because of karma. They think. Sometimes they deny as a only. As a means whether you do good or bad, there will be no result. In this way they deny as a. Such type of wrong views. Hmm? When they produce it is if they do not give up this wrong view up to <coughs> that moment, this is very heavy karma. That karma will produce to be reborn in hell or in Bidawa, etc., in Poho Hong's case. But when they begin 
to the when they reach to hell, it is not easy to escape from hell for many years. Because because this karma is very heavy karma. If they deny the activity of the law of karma, then they can do everything freely. They will not they will not uh, oh, observe any virtue. They can do freely anything good or bad, no problem. They do not believe good, this is good. They do not believe this is bad. So because of this reason, their ahusa is very heavy. We call it, this is Kruga Kama. Another is killing mother, killing father, killing Raha. And they uh, <coughs> uh, doing skeze in Sangha. The another is uh, uh, trying to shed blood from the living Buddha. These are also heavy gambas. They cannot be avoided. Eh? After that, they will suddenly produce to be reborn in eh? awful states. Only. But when they escape from the uh, from the hell, etc. If they reborn to be human being, at that time also, because of their previous karma, they don't want to accept any good, good, what, what, good, 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 good teachings. They don't want to accept, like communists. <laughs> they don't want to accept the activity of the law of karma because of previous Ahosan Kamas present. So such attitudes also they have. I'm sorry to be the timekeeper here, but it's now quarter to ten, our new time, mm -hmm. and we're waking up tomorrow at quarter okay, to three. Okay. You can, you yes. can ask more questions tomorrow. Sorry. People are going to feel tired in the morning. Sorry. Idame Bunya, Idame Bunya, Ajima, Ajima, Tisabe, 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 Tisabe,